I actually called my best friend before I was sitting over there under the scoreboard and he and I had to have a conversation. I was super nervous. Just, I love to thrive off of nerves. It's something I love before a race. And I was sitting there and he said something really, really important to me and something I learned back at ACC's a couple of weeks ago is go out there and don't try and win. Go out there, swim fast. Swim as fast as you can and focus on you. And as long as you swim fast, the result will take care of itself. Um, Casper was a big focal point on it because he was a national champ last year and he stepped up and been a leader uh, throughout this meet the whole time. And something that he and I had talked about, a concept over the last few weeks is you can go out there and do everything you can during these races, but I can't control what Brendan goes out, go out there and does. I can't control what any of, the, any of these guys go out there and do. The, all, the only thing I can do is swim as fast as I can and give it everything I have. And whether that's fifth place, eighth place, first place, it doesn't really matter. As long as I know I gave it my all, I'm going to have the same joy from it. Uh, after he won last year, he and I, I mean, I don't think I go back and forth with anybody more in practice than him, especially him stepping up and swimming the Hunter Fly this year. He and I are just at each other every single day. And, I mean, I could not do it without that guy. He has led a very large sum of people on this team, but I know personally for me he has made the largest impact on me as a swimmer and me as a person. Uh, I just remember sitting in the hotel and like, obviously we knew we needed a really good session coming off of this. And every single one of our milers came into the session and absolutely torched it. I mean, we're just sitting there in the hotel, blowing up group me, holy crap, holy crap. Those weren't the words we were saying, but along those lines. <laughs> and these guys just torched it. And then right before everyone showed up, Ross destroys his mile. And then Willie G follows that up. I was just warming up. I remember I touched the wall and I saw him coming in. And then they were like, oh, one, two, they're up on the podium. I just remember sitting there kind of shaking my head like, this is the session. This is the one where we're going to get it done. And it ended up happening, I guess, special. I mean, when I came to NC State, I would for sure say if I were to look for a specific coaching staff that's going to give me the places I want to go as well as try and take the program as far as we can and move up places even someone even a program that's as successful as this Braden is the pinnacle of everything I want as a coach and he and I had had a lot of conversations this year and he kept telling me over and over and over to fly to fly to fly to fly and then I think we got to a certain point in the season and I had done a set that Andreas had did the year he won here and he didn't tell me we went through the set and we came before ACC's and he laid out this whole thing. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, during that set, you beat every single time Andreas did during that set. I still went slower than the guy, which kind of bothers me a little bit. <laughs> There's still a little bit on the table, but um, I'm just glad he was able to believe in me because the amount of faith he puts in his swimmers and hopefully the same thing we're able to reciprocate with him is something special and I don't think you can find it anywhere else. Yeah, obviously, Brendan, being the top previous best time going into that heat, I knew my competition really well, even though being focused on myself, I know what these guys are gonna go do, and I know I'm the speediest guy out there. So for me, especially after this morning, I had kind of gotten a feel for it, and I came into tonight, and why not go play to my strengths and just dust the first 100? If I go out there and try and play the back half, these guys are playing to their strengths and I'm just hoping that they can die. But if I can build enough ground between me and them, I got a better chance of dragging myself to the wall first. <laughs> but you were, ahead, you were ahead like like you said, but then you weren't and then you had to come back. Still, I don't remember the last time somebody led at, you know, at the 50 and then not uh, for the 100 and the 150 and then yeah. came back to win. I had no clue. I had no idea. That was probably the first time that on all my turns, I don't think I ever saw above water level. I just touched every single time and went right into my underwater and just tried to stay in the race. Like, I don't think my eyes went anywhere but straight forward the entire 200. And I think it ended up helping because I was able to stay in my own lane the whole race.